Hello guys, welcome to another time of me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you meet me for the first time and today we are um, looking at, uh, oh well, pretty much a, an open letter to Atomos about the Ninja 5 and the FS5 Mark II. If you're here for the first time please welcome but subscribe uh, now if you know first of all there was the Sony FS5 Mark 1 and then there was Mark 2 um, when the up uh, when the Mark 2 came there was upgrade for Mark 1 that you had to buy the bundle to be able to upgrade it okay um, but the upgrade came with Mark 2 in the same kind of way um, ninja 5 has a ninja 5 plus stuff like that and you, you know um they're they're trying to sell um for 99 bucks they're trying they're selling um h265 over the years we have been used to working with h264 which has been a very flexible kind of um codec over the years but h265 still pretty much fresh new you know um, not still in mass use, but um, they're trying to promote it as the way forward, as the ultimate, um, um, you know, flexible five minimums, five size compared to, you know, um, dynamic range ability because you could do um, 10 bit 4 to 2, I think, on it, and that's good. And that's what they are saying, trying to say right now. Atomos is out. Um, the FS6. And the FS9 can now um, work with the Ninja 5 upgraded, or you will just uh, buy the Ninja 5 Plus. Okay, now here's what I'm saying that sounded amazing, and I was like, Well, I'm gonna upgrade, I don't have either of these cameras anyway, but I'm gonna upgrade and get ready for it because who knows? I, I jumped on it, pushed the download button, and next thing i i was prompted uh, about a 99 dollar payment for the actual uh, access <laughs> that is where i paused and asked myself do i really need it now what do i really need no by the way that's the answer to the first one i don't need it i absolutely do not need it would it have been a good addition to my workflow hell yes but for 99 bucks now coming from atomos it's all right i'm not judging i'm not saying it's wrong they are not supposed to be the one giving us this option it should have been sony in the first place sony is the one who should have been giving us the option of recording in in some extra format just like the cine tone and all that they gave it for free and we appreciated that I am advocating that Atomos and Sony should come together and actually try to look at the FS5 and FS7 if it applies to that too. Uh, you guys on my channel, you guys made me buy the SDI model. Everybody wanted to know if it works, if the SDI on the FS5 will actually get you 4K raw. Because who wants to buy the expensive Atomos? So, um, I bought it and it didn't work. Now, they are trying to sell H265. Here's my proposal. I think a lot more people will be ready to buy. I and a lot of people will be willing to buy raw, a raw recording capability on the FS5 Mark II or the FS5. Why is that? Because that camera is powerful. That, that camera is, is still very good very awesome but you have to have a, an external recorder of about a thousand plus to be able to uh, maximize these abilities okay without that it is it is no good if we're getting it from atomos no problem but what do we want we want the fx5 active because that camera it's a it's a very expensive camera 
and it keeps losing its value every day and that should concern Sony. The FS5 Mark II to this day still commands good respect when you bring it out. It's still a camera that will move heads like, oh, that's a cinema camera. Unless you're a professional and you know, well, yeah, it used to be all that in, back in the days. We need the FS5 to work um, with the Ninja 5. If that can, if raw recording can be given to us, at least let's also take this option of um, H265. Now, H265 in 4K um, 10 bit 422 external monitor, it's also an option that will keep this camera, the FS5, alive for a long time to come. Right now, it's going down the drain. It's such a powerful camera. It's still got the best audio. That, in fact, that's one of the giveaways for, for, for my setup. I still prefer the audio from the FS5 to the Blackmagic Pocket um, 6K Pro, or in fact, all the Blackmagic Pockets. With the external monitor, you could do real slow motion. <laughs> 90, uh, let me say, 85% of my client work that will do and a lot of people that will probably be a hundred percent even the second hand value for the fs5 now it's really it's really embarrassing really compared to what you bought you bought it at this price you can't even sell it half the price what is that that's not right you know and yet it's still a good camera yes the autofocus is not so on point but it is still a cinema camera, especially if you're into narrative. If you're running a full feature film, it's still a better option. The FS5 Mark II is still a better option to the um, A7S III or the a FX3. Mm -mm. It, it doesn't even run hot. It is so reliable. And the battery life consumption is so awesome. Like, you don't even need VMAT batteries and stuff like that. All I'm saying is, if it if you run a test between the S7S3 and that FS5, you can barely notice. That camera has been great a long time ago. And, and I, would, I, I would love for everybody that thinks the, in the same way with me to go ahead and comment in the description so that if I do get their attention, they see that so many people are interested in this and probably give it a consideration. And also, if it is something that's not possible, I would also love to know. Uh, so we stop pressing or fighting for it. But I believe it is possible. I really believe it's possible. If the FS6 and the FS9 uh, can get it, then the FX5 should, should be able, FS7 should be able. But what we need the most is raw raw on the ninja 5 that we will pay for the camera is already heavy so rocking with with the shogun 7 i bought it but it was most of the time i was always thinking about the weight like i said it's not about this it's not about the price it's about the comfort we want the comfort of using the ninja 5 on the already large fs5 mark ii or uh, just like it will help out on the fs6 and fx9 that's all we're saying. So um, I think I've, I've made my point. I really appreciate your time. If you did watch it to the end, uh, like, subscribe, comment, feedback. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Out.